Well, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to sand this down. As you can see here, lots pretty deep there. I'm going to sand this down, and I'm going to touch it up. Touch it up. Hey, eh? see? It's horrible, isn't it? It's a really rough lot. It's all really rough. Hard standing. Which is fabulous. Perfect time to do it. As you can see there, it's coming, it's coming off all right. 400 grit paper, a bit of soapy water. I'm just going to wet and dry all this side here. It's coming off quite quick. That's probably five minutes of work. Yeah. I've sanded the. Uh, well, it's nice and smooth. The worst bits down. I don't want to spend too much time on this because it just gets battered. This was a big scar down here. That's nice and that's nice and smooth now. A little bit of a knocking in there. That's deep in the metal. Uh, just going to wash that off now and then uh, let it dry for a bit. When I've washed it off, I let it dry. I'm going to touch the rust up. Uh, it's hard work for sanding by hand. Bits like this that are pretty deep. They're pretty deep. And uh, take a lot of sanding. Look at these rusty bits here, look. That will have to be ground back. And I'm not doing all that because it just gets, it gets scratched straight away as soon as you go into a lock. So, uh, all perfectionist out there, look away now, because you're not going to see perfection here. I've, uh, I've masked the uh, line down there, look, I'm not masking that bit there because it's that bit there, so I'm going to re-sand that. Uh, make it look a bit tidier anyway, won't it? It's a bit, a bit messy, isn't it? Right temperature, it's about 15, 16 degrees. Okay. I'll give it a final wipe with some white spirit and a towel to get any dust off. This is my cheap, cheap layoff brush. It's quite stiff. I wash these before I start because to get all the, because uh, they're going to fall, all the airs are going to fall out, the bristles. So I just wash them and straighten it out ready, you know. Lovely little roller from uh, home base. Uh, I'm going to put some, uh, cellophane in there just to uh, so I don't have to throw it away great foil in the end because it's uh, a bit tougher than smelly paint so a bit of foil in there ready for painting I might actually thin the paint down to be honest because it's uh, when the sun comes out it's quite warm as you can see the difference so far look difference there to here uh, it's going on all right not too bad Once you get started, it doesn't actually take uh, take long. It's the process of uh, preparing it that takes forever. Uh, sorry, it doesn't affect my knees. Can I crawl in a long 50 foot of boat, sanding it by hand? Uh, get some knee pads if I were you. If you've got weak knees. A bit of a... Uh, roll it on there, look. Roll it on, get all the lines out. And then uh, get your brush. I didn't, I didn't actually thin it out in the end. So I didn't really need to. Um, it's gone on quite well. I mean, ideally, it really wants sanding back, filling, all the little blemishes ground off, filled, and make a really nice job. Do you know what I mean? Just laying it off now, look, a little bit of brush strokes there. Dead simple. Look, just laying it off, so just getting all the lines out and all the runs and drips and all the stuff, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say this this paint's the best paint in the world. It's uh, I think it was uh, 39 quid for two and a half liters, but uh, it's the same color as last time. I'm sticking to it. Same manufacturer, so it doesn't react, and uh, it does the job. I mean, I don't want a perfectly immaculate boat. So I just worry all the time. This is this is ideal for me.
I mean, if I just paid like seven grand for a for a paint job, I'd be too scared to go in a lock. I'd be terrified. I'd worry about it all the time. Trees and stuff like that, walking on it. You know what I mean? Tidy up. 30 minutes of brush work. I know you guys like this sort of stuff. I'm going to peel this off now, look. Yeah, still wet. I bet it brings off the black off with it. There we go, look. I know you guys love this, don't you? see it's because it's so bright out here that's it now it's almost dry because it's so the sun's hot on there so here we go filthy thumbs up covered in paint <laughs> 